So, now it is time to get the word out to all the people that are online. In the meantime, while I am still getting set up, I would like to say hello everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Botch. Today we are going to be playing The Evil Within for the PS4, which is being broadcasted live on Twitch tonight. Uh, I am just currently spending some time in the beginning in order to help get the word out, and then we will jump right into it. Now, I started playing The Evil Within uh, during Halloween night. Uh, I had a, a little bit of a run-through. I have never played this game before. Uh, as a result, I don't know what I'm doing, and I don't know what's going to happen. But we are going to die. We are going to die a lot. But we are going to have fun. Get away. Willem Dafoe, is that you? Oh, loads, where are we going? It's Silent Hill again, isn't it? It's always Silent Hill. Fuck, it's Silent Hill. I don't want this. Willem Dafoe, can you please save me? This is where they cut me up, isn't it? And I become one of the bad guys. Oh shit. So The Evil Within 2 came out in uh, Friday the 13th, which was a very good decision, marketing-wise. But uh, the character at your cause, cause of death remains a mystery. More than a dozen mutilated bodies found in the village of Elk River, several residents unaccounted for. Uh, the character of uh, Vincent, um, he went through a bit of a, a costume upgrade. He doesn't look the Hello? same as how he used to. Anybody there? He uh, looks a lot more like Joel from The Last of Us, actually, with his character remodel, and shit looks mad fucked. Cockroaches! So this is the point where the game turns into 1408. Hello there. Are we awake? Uh, is everyone else alright? The city? Whatever are you talking about? You are the only soul here, right now. And we're beginning to get a little crazy. Okay, so let's go talk to the lovely nurse, nurse lady. This place is necessary for you. You're Why? always welcome here. I've been hospitalized. I'm afraid I cannot answer that. Please, sign in here. Oh god, this is how I get a persona, isn't it? Without signing in, there is no way to ensure your future memories. Hey. Oh, this is the save slot. I see, said the blind man as he urinated into the wind. It's all coming back to me now. Uh, yes, I would like to overwrite the save. Ha ha! are playing on survival difficulty because that was the hardest difficulty that is available on your first Explain playthrough please. oh shit the bed um, I would actually like to hop the turnstile and see where that lovely nurse lady oh I can't that's a shame gonna see if there's there's nothing available to read which is also a shame I'm a, I'm a very Smells collectible like sort because you're in a feckin hospital I got some green gel 
some brain juice, if you will. You are all right. Please relax. Uh. Please have a seat. I'm looking through you. Where did you go? I thought I knew you. What did I know? You don't look different, but you have changed. I'm looking through you. You're not the same. Oh, I'm such a dork. All right, what do we got? What the hell? And we you are all kinds fighting. of fucked. This is for your own good. No. Stop. Green gel can be used to upgrade individual skill parameters. Upgrade. There now. You see? All better. Uh huh. Am I going crazy? Huh? Now and now. Uh oh. I'll be waiting. Okay. So we went from the city. Shit. What the hell is going on? Where the mental am I? institution. Uh, syringe. The origin of medication in this travel syringe is unknown, but still provides a moderate health restoration. Okay. Question. Why would my character get the idea to inject random syringes into himself? I'm going to put the health stuff that's on there. Because, you know, there might have been some medical training, but... Connelly. He's just like, oh, this is going to give me health. Okay, so... The gurney. Nothing really going on. I'm, I'm still injured as fuck, but... I like to dance on the Muna and the Juna and the Springa. Come on. I honestly have no clue where I'm going at this point in time. Um, I would assume I have to go this way. It appears it's getting... Okay, so... Creepy imagery, so I assume this is the right way. Malay attacks. Triangle, attack enemies objects with your bare hands. Rawr. Uh, okay, so I get the feeling I need to break random shit in order to get some cool shit. But at the same time, isn't this supposed to be technically like Resident Evil 4? Aren't there going to be stealth mechanics? this area go anywhere? Is it just... Yeah, we're wandering into the abyss. Okay, um... Fire. Which means something bad is going to be here. And... Okay, so I got... A lamp. I'm going to use this lamp. Okay. Connolly? That looked painful. Uh, okay, so this is obviously a checkpoint, so it means that we're probably going to get our first little taste of combat. Um, just miscellaneous bags are strewn about the ground. Uh, can I... Okay, so I can't attack anything. Okay, 
This is definitely giving me some Resident Evil flashbacks. And... Okay. Connolly. Yeah, this is definitely Resident Evil. Connolly's a zombie for some reason, which was never really explained. Um, by the way, welcome to the party, Kane. Won't die easy. It took nearly all the shots. Yeah, I, I'm definitely feeling that. Um, some more brain juice. Okay, is there anything in this box? No, it's just for themes. Gotcha. I can't break everything. Okay, so I've got the lamp. How do I how do I take it out and use it? Is there a Okay, so why um Okay, well, I'm going to put my gun in the up. And there doesn't appear to be anything that asks me uh you don't need to click R3, okay? Punching is useless, you better be stealthy in this. Okay. So... So, once again, for those of you who are tuning in, uh, I am completely playing this blind. I have yet to ever play The Evil, uh, the evil Within. Um, I want to get into The Evil Within 2, which came out on Friday the 13th of this year. Very brilliant marketing day. But, uh... I'm going to look into... Okay, so the left stick is what turns on the lamp. And I need some Odis. Haha! More brain juice. What do you want, Kane? Okay, the left stick. Gotcha. Um, Ruvik. Can I, can I kill him? Should I kill him? Let's go in the dark. Hurts! Hurts! Whoa. Yeah, obvious spring trap. Were you warning trap. me about this? You are Leslie, right? I'm a police officer. Maybe I should help you. Should help you? Shit. How am I gonna get you to a hospital? Hospital. Hospital. I can get hospital. rid of the letterbox. Hospital! hospital! Right. Okay. What the fuck? So... Let's get rid of the letterbox, since that is causing some issue, so... Uh, life gauge, controls... Vibration, auto-aim, brightness, letterbox. Are you happy now? Okay. So, hold X to disarm traps. Trap parts acquired. Trap parts are needed to craft bolts for the Agony Crossbow, the most emo-sounding weapon ever. So emo that it even cuts you to, in order to use it. Um, it could be used in the inventory screen. Okay, and so... So I only have one bullet that is left in this revolver. are walking out. Sprint, hold L1, but keep in mind, Sprint consumes stamina. Is there anything around me, per se, that I would need? Nope. Okay. 
So approach a fallen enemy and press circle to burn them, destroying them completely. Burning consumes one match. If the same enemies are close enough, they can all be burned with one match. Other things besides corpses and enemies can also be burned. Question. Why, at what point did burning people seem like a logical story idea? How do I get up? There we go. It would be good if there was maybe a cutscene in which burning was actually explained rather than forced, but you know what? What do we got? Uh, stamina drains so fast in this, you need to be close to the body as it can take the match and miss if you're not right on top of it. Oh, that sounds scary. Uh, so I've now got matches. And... Uh, so... This creepy cabin in the woods. And... I don't see... Anything... Else around here. I mean... There's teepees. Is that a teepee? A, a wig -a wham Thank you, ma'am. There's this weird blood sigil on that door. And is there anything in behind? Nope. Okay, so let's take a look at this nice little cabin that really makes you wish you had some Purell. And we are in... Okay... was something. Hey, look, more brain juice. Okay. Got about 113. Okay. My journal. Finally got my old badge. Detecting Sebastian Castellanados. I like the sound of that. Seems a long time coming, but they say that I'm one of the fastest ever to rise through the ranks. Can't wait to get started. I know that I can do more good as a detective than I ever could as a beat cop. Plus, I don't have to wear that damned uniform anymore. The pay bump doesn't hurt either. KCPD needs all the help they can get. There's a seemingly disproportionate amount of crime these days. Crimson City is my home, and it's my job to protect it. You live in a place called Crimson City. Oh, key? Okay. Uh, shit! The light, it blinds us! So... Uh, this is our work what day. The, back here again. I must be losing it. So every single time my character hits that mirror, he jumps back into this safe spot. And I still have my lantern, which means... No, I'm carrying it. And that is, I guess, sort of a, a mirror that jumps me back. I don't know if that was a bad dream, or this is. Whatever is the matter. Um. <sighs> okay. Not gonna question any of the crazy sh I had to go through, and that probably just takes me out into the real world again. And let's go upgrade our stats. Stock, improve the items you're carrying. Cultivate skills related to weapons and to physical prowess. Weapons or abilities or stock. I don't know, what do you think I should choose? I'm thinking weapons. Abilities. Let's see abilities. Life gauge, sprint time, melee damage, syringe recovery. Okay. Damage multiplier, fire rate, accuracy. Um Okay, we'll 
I don't want to be wasting bullets, so let's go for accuracy. Groovy. Um, reload time. Whoa! The amount of stuff I need to level up is kind of insane. Um, I should also improve the amount of matches that I have considering this game's reliance on them. Okay, so we've now got level 2 matches and level 2 accuracy, which, you know, isn't the greatest, but the game's going to suck a bit less. And... Okay. Level up stamina mostly? Well, we'll, we'll see. I've seen... Um, so this is my first time playing through the game, uh, but I have seen some points where you need that accuracy. Um, I'm going to very briefly... Okay, so that is just health. And stuff like that. I'm going to jump back in. I'll need some stamina? Okay. Well, I will upgrade that for next time. Alright. Okay, the accuracy is moderately okay. So whenever I see that blood symbol, whatever the hell it is, I guess that means I'm jumping back into the fray. I've only got a single bullet. I'm out here in the middle of the woods. Dude, you won't need it as the crossbow they told you about is the best way, the best use for better shots. Call me baby, just go ahead now. God damn it. I need to use your bathroom. Let me use your bathroom. Sneak kills. R1 and X instantly kill enemies who are unaware of you from behind. Sonic MTD, Master of Stealth. Yeah, just... Not really here. There you go. Just keep doing your crazy zombie gimp suit self. <laughs> uh, brain juice. And he had bullets on him. Okay, well... Um, okay, so reloading is just like every other Resident Evil game. If I were a betting man, I'd say... Just casually push this door open. Obstacles through windows. Okay. Uh, I definitely feel a frame rate drop moving through that window. I don't know if that's because I'm live streaming this. And here we see the noble detective wandering through the undergrowth of what appears to be a really shitty Resident Evil clone. And Alan Wake moment. And... What you want? It always is like that? Okay. Well, that's rather unfortunate. Um... 
truth be told, I shouldn't really be shitting on this game. Hey, a statue. Huh. Eh? What did I just pick up? Okay, I'm not going to question it. Because this game's not going to let me know what it is. I picked up some kind of key from bashing a statue. Okay, we've got some bottles. Okay. The key hey, opens up are you something guys from hidden. Around here? I don't know where... Shit. Okay. That is rather unfortunate, but you know what? I played The Last of Us. How do I switch perspectives? How do I switch perspectives? What button do I press? Oh shit. Okay, I'm going to stealth kill this guy. Don't turn around, bright eyes. Every now and then I can stab your head. He had bullets, and I shouldn't have set him on fire. That was probably a waste of a good match. How exactly do I switch my perspectives? Because, seriously. to expertly stealth kill this fucker. There's a blood pattern over there which causes me to think... Come on. Don't you dare turn around. time where I had dentures. Braces. Braces. Why did I say dentures? When did they put a lighthouse on the lake? Has it always been there? That circling light passes over me. Passes through me. I feel like it takes something away each time. I can't remember what it was, though. Okay. So... Something in here, possibly. Okay. There's a lot of matches. Which, hey, I'm going to take any day. There's a... It's a really dilapidated building, but it's got... 
Okay. Anything about the fire? No, there's nothing about the fire. And we've got more syringes. And what is this? There is a place to hide in here. Okay. Now, the question I have is, is that something that magically... Okay, no, I have to actually press button to get in the hiding places, which is... it makes sense, but at the same time it's not the greatest, because if you're being chased and you want to instantly hide... Okay. Uh, ooh. Oh god, that would have been bad. Um, okay. That almost ended early, folks. When I try to take out the traps, use bottles on them from afar, as they might get you with a bit of nails and thus end up killing you. Okay, good to know. So if it's one thing I guess I can say about this game is that uh, traps keep you alive. Being, being a part of the internet culture, you know, traps are a glorious thing. And Alan Wake much. I feel like I'm being pulled just looking at it. Well, welcome to Hogwarts. What happens at the... Anything happens? No? Okay. I was assuming something bad was going to happen. Also, you get tired after three seconds? You're supposed to be a cop. Isn't there supposed to be, like, a physical or something? There's nothing that I can climb onto for there. Okay, so... We're going to go the stealthy option. Okay, full ammo. Six shots. Checkpoint, because this could probably end up in me dead. Okay. I don't think the game will allow me to continue from that point, which means I have to go closer. I have to go the other way around. What is Kane saying? Tra okay, so it's still the same thing about taking out traps with bottles. Okay. this guy. Okay. Right. Um, also, dude, sorry if I rant again about Wolfenstein 2, but I have to say, okay, you are really not enjoying Wolfenstein 2. Okay, maybe there's... Maybe if we... Okay, is there... Okay. I'm just taking the long way home at this point. I'm making like Super Tramp and taking the long way home. So you think you're a Romeo? Playing a part in the picture show. Take the long way home. I'm 
actually kind of surprised that there aren't any real major collectibles. And... No, that's just passing light. Uh, okay. And... Fire, fire everywhere. Not a drop to drink. Apparently I have full syringes. Now, I'm, I'm curious in regards to this game in terms of, so I have full syringes, so is that white line my maximum health, or is the red line the amount of maximum health that I have? So would I be wasting a syringe if I used it now? I'm either going to die an absolute ledge, or I'm going to fuck right off. But nothing hit me. Nothing. How did how did that happen? He hit me once, and there was, like, no real... How did that happen? That should not have happened. I was doing well! That was... bullshit. Completely unmitigated bullshit. Now I want to, like, just knife somebody. Okay, maybe I was supposed to, like, take the bottle and then use it as a means of distraction. Yo! What is up? Welcome to the madhouse. That was not how I intended it to go, but I am quite happy that it did go that way. Huh? Brain juice. Oh, okay. I have a torch! Why did you use... That makes no sense. None of that made any goddamn sense. Okay. I'm doing all right. Um, I'm a little confused because I've never played this game before, and it is kicking my ass. Don't you turn around from me. That's the way Maddie likes it. Okay, so he's not giving off any more brain juice, so I am going to 
If you think that Vincent looks uh, very similar to uh, Joel from The Last of Us, you have not seen the latest footage for The Evil Within 2, which it practically feels almost exactly like Joel. Okay. What is this? Rain juice. I have... Ooh, that was a bad idea. Joel has attracted the horde. There should be an option to just throw him into the fire. We'll call it Rage Against the Machine Mode, you know? Sleep now in the fire! Okay. So I'm just gonna... Traps. When are we meeting Ellie? Uh, Ellie, unfortunately, is DLC. Okay. I'm going to investigate almost every part of this spooky little shack. Because if I know anything about horror games and survival games, there is great reward that comes with great risk. Okay, that does not... I should be able to climb that. This is bollocks. <laughs> yeah, that is bullshit. I should have been able to climb that. <sighs> you do realize, like, Ellie is... bear traps. Where? Oh. Okay. This game took a rather interesting turn. I am I am pleasantly surprised. Corpses. There are a bunch of them just lying down. I might as well. Oh! Uh, I guess they really weren't dead. Like Jesus! Um, okay, so he had brain juice on him. Sweet. So the gun does not kill them? Yeah, I figured as much. This game is setting up for um, a survival war type feel. Okay. That looks like it'll do it. I know it's an obvious little thing where the door's supposed to slam right behind you, but I always fall for it and I get very tense. What do you want? Yeah, it's not following normal zombie rules. What the fuck am I? clue what's going on, but I'm going to investigate this creepy shack. A 
Okay, so I'm going to play a little game here. I am going to go. Ah, so there actually is some health stuff. What is this? A fragment of a map from Beacon Mental Hospital. Okay. What does that do? Does that actually do anything? Information. Handgun. Machine gun. Okay. This is an old-fashioned police service revolver. Most police agencies have switched over to automatic pistols, but few officers continue to use revolvers. Okay. Um... Is anything breakable? No. Okay. And this area is way too dense. Now if I was a smart man, I'd keep to the outside. But that assumes that I use logic. Obvious foreshadowing is creepy. I, I can't go down there, can I? But it looks like I can go up there, but it won't allow me to, which is bullshit. Uh, so these zombies are attracted to light and sound, but how smart are they? So, uh, in regards to this, um, in regards to this, they're, they're, they're more intelligent than, say, the Resident Evil zombies. Like, these, from what I gather, these are former humans that still hold their intelligence, but have just gone stock raving mad. Um, as opposed to Resident Evil zombies, where they're just husks. They, they hold no intelligence. Oh fuck. No, 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 no. No. Shit. Better get out of here. That was a bad idea. Run. Run, 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 run. Come on. God damn it. Jesus. Save that chapter. And do I want to override the save? Yes, yes I do. Okay. If I were to describe the zombies in this game, I would compare them a lot to Resident Evil 4, where it was basically like a parasitic organism that was controlling the husks, but actually caused them to have some level of intelligence, up to the point where they can actually use weapons later on in the game. So... I would probably consider it something along those lines. Now, 